There have been many predictions about the next UFC 259 match between Israel Adesanya and Jan Blahovic. Stats say that Izzy is the favorite fighter, but many think otherwise. Ellen Yee Sports went on to ask different fighters about their predictions for this light heavyweight championship bout. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Jan Blahovic has not gotten the respect that he deserves. Um, this guy has beaten everyone um, that have tried to come up against him in, the, in, in his recent run. And you know, Jan Blahovic is going to be at a bit of a disadvantage in terms of speed with Israel Adesanya. Star power, Israel Adesanya. There are a lot of things swaying in Izzy's favor. And if he can win this fight, he will skyrocket to the moon. There's just no room for error in a fight against Jan Bohovic. He can't hit, get hit one time. He gets hit by Jan, he's in trouble. So it's, it's a good fight. Um, Izzy seems to hold the advantages. A lot of people think he's going up because it's Jan holding the title. Um, but the room for error is so small that um, it makes it a dangerous fight for, for Israel Asanyi. Against Jan, I think he might end up doing good. He's going to be quicker, faster than Jan. But Jan do have a lot of power, though. So if he catches him, he can get in trouble. Um, but it depends. We'll see. We, we, only, can, we, we only can see what, what's going to happen. So um, I think he'll do good. But, you know, sometimes it's different when you get against the bigger guys and stuff. Jan ain't somebody to play with. That dude got fucking real power. And um, I think it's something about the underdog, underdog that everybody's looking past. They're looking at Israel getting double belts. They're not even talking about Jan winning this fight. So if I was him, there's no pressure on me. Go out there and whoop his ass. I think Izzy's got a pretty good chance of beating Blahovich, but he, he could get he could get dropped. Blahovich got that uh, what do you call it the Polish power. I think he's gonna knock out uh, the Polish nightmare. I really do. I think he's gonna knock him out it's just because nobody fights Israel with tactics. Israel hasn't necessarily, and again, I like him. He's a world champion, but he's not he's not well rounded yet, or at least he hasn't showed that yet. So mostly, people think that Israel Adesanya will come out victorious on Sunday, saying he has better speed and accuracy and is a better fighter overall. But the majority also mentioned Jan's Polish power, referring to it as something not to play with. What's your prediction for UFC 259, Adesanya or Blahovich? Let us know in the comments section who you pick. Jan Blahovich was matched up against Dominic Reyes in a fight for a new light heavyweight champion after former champion John Jones released his title and left the division. Since Reyes had fought John to the limit in their bout months earlier, Dominic was seen as a solid light heavyweight champion. But in less than two rounds into his fight at UFC 253 against Blahovich, Reyes was dismantled with a barrage of punches that made Jan the new champion. Judging by this fight and the Corey Anderson fight, it would seem unreasonable to underestimate Blahovich any longer. But just weeks ahead of his first title defense in a champion versus champion showdown against Israel Adesanya at UFC 259, Jan is once again the underdog. I'm always underdog and I'm always going to fight, so it's it's really nice, you know. Uh, and I'm happy, you know. I, I could be underdog every time, but maybe after this fight, when I won this fight, I believe that I do the. Then I win, win, the fight, win this fight, and maybe after this fight, people start, you know, believe in me, respect me, uh, and that's it, you know. But anyway, I don't think I don't care about about this, you know. Uh, this funny story after when I beat the uh, Rockhold, I also was underdog over there, and one guy uh, after the fight in the hotel come to me and say, "Thank you, my friend, because they, thanks to you, I'm the rich man right now." And what happened? He said that uh, thanks to me, he won fifty thousand bucks, you know. <laughs> so it's nice to hear something like that after the fight, you know. Yeah. Maybe right after this fight, someone who won big money also. Even though he's moving up 20 pounds to a bigger division, Adesanya doesn't seem to show any belief of losing his undefeated 20-0 record with four consecutive victories in title fights. Israel Adesanya's coach, Eugene Behrman, even mentioned a move to heavyweight after defeating Jan to face John Jones, who's been beefing with Israel on social media over the past few months, hinting at a potential fight in the future. Jan was asked about Israel looking past him and thinking about John Jones, but Blahovich did not seem to care about all this. I don't care, and I do. And it's not, not my own business, because I focus about me, about my camp, about my preparation, to don't get an injury, I focus about me, you know, to be ready for everything what he prepared for me. I don't care what he's thinking about right now, you know, that he's got respect for me or no, or he think about, you know, okay, when he beat me, he go to heavyweight, I don't care. I just want to, you know, 
be the best shape ever in this fight and beat him. This is uh, everything what I've got inside my head. Jan Blahovic respects Israel Adesanya and recognizes how good he is, but he still believes that it's time the last stylebender encounters his first defeat. But he is a good fighter, really good fighter, you know. He is a champion. Nobody defeat him. Uh, you know, to end the end also, he have to be, uh, he is good, he have to be good, you know, but, you know, uh, it's time for, for two and one, you know, so it's two and ten one, so I, I, I believe that I'm going to be the first one to beat him, and I will do it, you know. What do you think of what Jan said in his interview? You believe he's ready for Izzy? Let us know in the comments what you think. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. Also, subscribe to this channel for more MMA news.